Hey guys, welcome to Factorio. I am c cat and today we're going to make some solder. Or solder. I don't know. I say solder. As I said last time, I was taught to say solder that way and I'm never going to change. Because that's the sort of rebel I am. So we're going to need a lot of crystallizers. Uh, that's probably step one. In fact, I've already built a lot of them. Maybe we'll just go up there and see how we're doing. Be a good place to start. Um... Yeah. So once we get solder done, then we should have a lot of... So we need to get lead and tin. Tin's halfway to being done already. Uh, which is good. We do have a minor problem that we did try to put the pipes through here. Which is a big oopsie moment. As they say. And I hear some angry worms. Okay, well we need to deal with those angry worms, because otherwise they're going to just be angry. There's one thing I don't want to deal with today, is some angry worms. It's like angry birds, except literally worse. Uh, and actually the way everything looks like it's at, set up at the moment, is probably the worst as well. Because I feel like I put the circle, I could just move the circle I suppose. Probably easier to move the circle than move everything else. Hello. Oh, it's the cabinet closed, but I think it's fine. And we don't have power? Really? I thought we would have had power. We just... Wait, how do we not have power? Oh, wow, there's just like one little gap there. Okay, great. We will fix all those power lines up shortly, but for now, it's not important. Uh, we've also seemed to have lost some of our construction bots. That's frustrating. Keeps happening. Oh well. Uh, ore crushers, we need those. Orc crushers, those are different things. Orc crusher twos, is that going to be enough? No. Do we need the twos? That's alright. If I just type in crusher, way faster. That's science for you. Science that you can take to the bank. Uh, probably don't know what that's doing. So this is a thing that we collected from a previous iron uh, gatherer, but it also means some pipes that are a little bit higgledy-piggledy due to uh, mistakes. Not really mistakes so much as happy little accidents, I suppose. More, it was like a thing that would have been created as a, like, when I was continuing to build stuff, and then it just sort of spiraled from there, I suppose, one could say. Okay, so, probably need some assemblers. I think I've got my ore sorters, or my ore somethings. You know, the ore sorting. Uh, well, I don't have enough of those, that's alright. Get that fixed one day. Everything will be fixed one day. Simpler, sure, there it goes. And we don't need those pipes. Those pipes are also useless. Okay, what do we actually need to research? I don't think we need any of this, to be honest. So we just keep going with power armor for now. Uh, and blast furnaces. Do we have blast furnaces? I feel like the answer to that is a no. A scary resounding no. I was actually wrong. That's a actually quite happy yes. That's exciting. We're going to need uh, charcoal, but we can bring the charcoal from down there, so that's actually pretty easy. Uh, so what do we really need? That's going to be... Oh, that's filtering the red? No. Why is that splitting? Oh, because it's splitting the yellow between the two. Okay, cool. It's good design when I look at it and can't remember what I was doing with it. Excuse me. Okay, so for tin, we need stickatite. 
know how you pronounce it, I know, but I'm also not going to pronounce it right, so why bother? And Boblium? Boblium. Bobnomninum. You know, I'm asking in the video, like, do I call it a solder or a solder? And then I'm just like, Bobnomninum. So clearly, uh, I can't be trusted with words. Okay, but so far, we're looking almost like we got a plan. Oh, and here come my construction bots. Just before I left, I'll go grab them. Okay, good. Uh, so what do we need? We need the ore sorter, and then we're kind of good. Get rid of that, too. We will be building a similar thing like that for the tin when we get there, but we're not there yet. Uh, quite frankly, we can probably start making this stuff. If it was actually connected, which I don't think it is. No, it's not connected because of the corner. That's alright. So we need all sort of twos. Or one all sort of... Suppose we need two of them. Thankfully, here's steel. So we're going to need four of them, I suppose. That we need iron, which again... Here's iron. And we're going to need two more of these crushes. It's all very well and good to have a lot of tin, but we do actually also need to have the lead. Uh, so we're going to need more blast furnaces, two of them. Oh. Don't have enough clay. We really need to put clay on a uh, train or a belt one day. I haven't done it yet, though. Okay, but that should start making my neat stuff. Why is that not working? Oh, because I don't have it. That makes sense. Inserter. Okay. Build a few of those. And why are we not making this stuff yet? Because again, it's just the wiring is not there. And once that's connected, we should... Yeah, it fills up pretty rapidly. Cool. And then that needs to just connect into there. No, it doesn't connect into there at all. It'll connect into here. How about that? I think everyone will like that. Great, and then we don't want iron. We already know that. We want tin from Tinland. And then we want more tin from Tinland. Uh, why is that not? Oh, because it's trying to build more fast inserters. Okay, it'll get there. We just got to have faith. Now, I could also think about... What do they need? Charcoal? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to get a lot of charcoal. I could also think about getting these uh, speed up in other ways. Oh, inductions, but I don't need induction so much as I need solder. Solder is lead and tin. Could also be zinc, but quite honestly, I don't make that much zinc, so probably a waste of everyone's time to do that. So now what we'll do is we'll actually copy this whole thing minus, oh jeez, minus part of it. Ooh. That's close. Close enough. And then that will be our lead, and then we'll have an induction furnace just down there that will uh, complete the whole shebang. Lacking like another iron box. Okay, it's fine, we can make those. Missing an assembler. We're missing a lot of things, let's be honest. Got a lot of work to do. I mean... It's good to be able to just place some things down, just because it helps the bots out a little bit. And it saves them for doing the parts that are actually fiddly. 
Oh wait, uh, we want to not do that quite like that. We're going to need more crystallizers it seems. Wow, I thought we actually had enough. Guess not. How many more crystallizers do I need? I clicked that like five times. Okay, let's go ten. And we do need to put some more land here. I really need to get those cliff explosives sorted out one day because it's getting silly. Okay, but everything's still being built. And we are getting a lot of tin. Well, we would do if we had charcoal, so maybe that's something we should be importing now. I wish I just had like a construction facility that could just put everything down and just get it to do it, but nope, haven't got around to that. Let's finish this and then we'll worry about what else we need. One thing at a time, right? I know I struggle with that a lot, but let's try for it. Okay, that's everything it seems. So a few more crystallizers and then... And what does lead need? It needs crontomnium and rubite. So that can be the crontomnium thing. I, I refuse to call these things the correct name now that I know they're not real. Like, when I thought they were real, I was like, I better learn how to pronounce them. Otherwise, people will tease me. And then I'm like, they're not real. I don't care anymore. What are they going to do? Oh, you didn't name a thing that's fake right. No, it's, it's fake. No one cares. And if I'm wrong, if they are real, please let me know, because I would love to find out that I'm wrong on this. Okay, and lead, because we might as well make it a bit better, and pro, uh, lead ingots. Uh, wait, what? Really? You know what? Screw it, you made things difficult for me. I don't care about lead that much. You started this. Later on, I'm going to need a lot more lead, and I'm going to look back at this day and be ashamed of what I've done. I'm going to make sulfur dioxide gas, which I don't think I care about. What is this? Oh, nothing down up here. Purpose was elsewhere. So, now we're going to get the charcoal. We might need some more inserters. Or belts, actually, as well. Well, we'll see how we're going. Uh, that's not great. That's worse! That's significantly worse! I didn't expect there to be a sp uh, worm right there, but that's okay. Sometimes worms are surprising. That's the nature of the worm. As they say, if you walk without rhythm, you'll never learn. We're going to put this straight through the garden, aren't we? That worm's just chilling there. You know what, worm? You're okay for now. But don't think I'm not watching you. I am watching you. I am watching that worm with all the fury of a sun. Be clear, sun is you in like a, a burning sun. That's not like a an angry child. Maybe it's the same thing. I'm being angry at a video game. It's the same thing. Put that there. Okay, that's gonna cut all that off, but that's fine. Uh, we should have just enough for everything, great. Here comes the charcoal. 
Okay, we do need to connect this to power at some point when we feel like it. Uh, which means we should be making ingots now. We are. Wonderful. So what are we lacking? Blast furnace and probably just a, uh, a good number of induction furnaces. Okay. Well, blast furnace. What do we need for that? Clay pipes. Okay. Well, we'll build a couple of those first. And induction furnaces, probably clay pipes again. No, clay pipes. Clay bricks. Clay bricks again. Yep. And then we need to figure out how to pipe it over there. So we're probably going to need to get some brass. We are lacking on basic building materials though. So let's go and get those as well. Ah, it's good to be in the factory. A relaxing little jaunt in the train. Jaunt is a nice word. I just want to put that out there. We need more of those. Always need more of those. Uh, what else do we need? We need clay bricks. Oh, we need to get those brass pipes as well. Because we're going to need to pipe that solder to the rest of the factory. Probably need to deal with that crushed stone one day as well. Hmm. One day. Uh, clay bricks are over here. I got lost. Molten tin? Kind of concerning right now. Okay. What are we liking? Steel? Steel. Well, we got plenty of steel. That's Steel is never a problem. And then when we get the induction, uh, the solder coming through onto the main line, I imagine science will then find a new reason to disappoint me. That seems to be what happens. Okay, because I, I do all this work to like make it faster and then it's like, great, it's now going to be faster. And it's like, yeah, but you don't have enough of this, do you? And I'm like, well, I did. Like, well, you didn't. Yeah, bitch. I like how there's just a garden and some trees there that I really should keep, but I'm like, nah. I don't care. How far until I get the artillery train? That's probably the next important uh, get. Can I actually launch that? We're going to have that going. Okay. So we really need to take it down. So what we'll do is we'll go across, across. Put it out that way. That's good. And then this has got to be lead, of course. Oh, we need oxygen. You know, in fact, I think we got oxygen nearby. Probably have some oxygen for the steel. So we'll uh, steal that, shall we? <laughs> Good joke, sir. No, we don't want... <laughs> no, not lead. We want solder. Also, I'd like to point out, I just did laugh at my own joke and say, Good joke, sir. Like, I'm some sort of toady. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I appreciate my own stupid joke. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, that's probably fine. Well, let's power this up, because there's no reason not to power it up. That should be fully powered. It is. Now we've just got to figure out how to actually make solder with the oxygen that we don't have. But we'll get. At some point we need to figure out how to get a lot of hydrogen. And also a lot of hydrogen will come with oxygen, because... H2O. So if we make some purified water, we can, I mean, electrolyzer is going to be the problem. And I've got a plan for electrolyzers that you'll see very soon. Uh, probably when I get around to fish petting. Which I still love saying that it's something I need to worry about very soon. Just get, get some fish petting going. It's very weird. But it is also true. 
We didn't get brass, more brass pipes, so that's uh, troublesome. We were meant to get more brass pipes, but we just didn't. But then if we have a flare stack, and here's hoping that we actually have enough resources for a flare stack, we do. Wonderful. Where is my... We're going to fast stack, uh, filter inserters again. Got me again. Okay, there we go. Uh, flare stack. There it is. Isn't it lovely? Truly the pride of our nation. And then we insert, insert, make that one on the outside. Wire that up. And make solder, please. Just make a heap and chunk of solder. Now, where does solder need to go? It needs to go... If it goes to down here, it'll all sort of fix itself up. So let's just go straight down. The difference between this solder and the previous one is this is making a lot of tin, whereas the other one has a little bit not enough. I like my line is a little bit not enough, implying there's this close to enough. There's not. Not even close. I can hear the worm being over there, just being like, oh, what's going on? You can never trust a big space worm, obviously. I think we all learned that from watching Dune. Or reading Dune. Just observing Dune in whichever way you, you observed it, we all learned giant space worms cannot be trusted. Unless you live in the sand. But also, even if you live in the sand, you probably still shouldn't trust it. Look, the point is, space worms scary. Okay, now, solder. Got a solder thing over here-ish. A little bit of maser pipes, but that's okay. Now that is absolutely full of solder. This is going to make everything go nuts. Hopefully. I mean, now we've got solder coming through. And immediately you can see everything's just way better. And that'll be making more green chips, which will be making more everything else. That's good. We could probably even go with more strand casting machines, honestly, but but now I think that's okay. Because we're already there's just massive improvement. And we'll see a massive improvement over here as well, except for the fact that kinda didn't need it. Okay, it's time for fish petting. Uh fish fish tank. Yeah, we need stone bricks. And we're going to actually need to go and get that brass this time. Now we're going to need a lot of fish petting because I think that's what's really slowing us down right now. And I also, the important part about fish petting is I love saying fish petting. Because I need polluted fish water. And where is the brass is over there? I walked straight past it. Because I'm going to need a lot more pipes for this. Uh, but I shouldn't need anything else. I think as long as I get enough uh, stone bricks, should be alright. And then I can start on the next plan, which is to get plastic. So, uh, that's interesting. That's just there. That's going to kill me later. Um, doesn't move them, just points them out. Just lets them sit there. Okay. So, 
more iron pipes required. Thankfully, I've prepared for this eventuality where I made a lot of iron pipes. That's a ridiculous way to do it. Okay. That's probably more than enough uh, fish tanks. Uh, do we have any more crystallizers? Because we're going to need a couple more of those too. No, we have shortage of those because we don't have any basic circuit boards. Well, good news. Those are here. Five of those will probably be too many. I'd always rather have too many than not enough. Glass could be a problem one day because my silicon reserves have run out. But for now, it's probably okay. Now, I don't think fish pitting needs anything other than just fish and nutrient pulp and fish water. Okay, so it needs a few things. So we may need to build more fish. Uh, oh, wow, did thermal water fill up? It did. Interesting. They said it would never happen. Who are they? I don't know. Actually, might be better to build it here. So we just just waste a lot of sand, which is going to bite me in the butt. And three, two, one. Oh, hey, I had a little bit more. Neat. So, generally, the idea is we're going to need to have pipes running through here. So, if that's the case, I go pick up from there. Other way around. Pick up from there, drop to there. And then pipe comes through here. For my fish petting. I could stop saying fish petting, but I ain't gonna. Great. Just, uh... So we've got things on both sides. Okay. Then if we do that, that's pretty good. So the fish is going to come in through here. And that's going to give us our polluted fish water. Okay, now, the trickier part's going to be this bit. Because this is going to be where we actually get the things to make the fish happen. So we need to bring in three resources. We need to bring in the fish water, the nutrient pulp, which actually should be pretty simple, and the fish themselves. So the fish themselves should be easy, because there they are. Actually, probably... Upper priority is this way, quite simply. This is going to make a lot of fish be growing right now, but that's okay. Unfortunately, we're doing another uh, rat nest, but I do nothing to change that. Okay, so that's they're going to be making as many fish as they can because everything's just gone for the moment. That's all right. Now, the fish water, we might as well bring this directly from the tap and the nutrient pulp, we'll figure that one out in a moment. It is actually called fish water. I thought I was saying that wrong, but no, that's literally what it is. Fish water. And that's not where I want to bring the fish water into. 
always think where you want to bring fish water into the world. You can't undo your fish water. Oops. All right, and then that just connects there. Okay, so one side has its fish water. We'll do another one of those sorts of things right here. We'll just connect it like that. Okay, apparently it doesn't want to connect quite like that. Okay, that's good. Nutrient pulp. And then we're going to figure out what to do with the fish after we get them, which I might just do a red circuit job. That. Okay, nutrient pulp. Again, that shouldn't be a difficult one. That's thermal water. Thermal water is not nutrient pulp. Never forget that. It's imperative that you never forget that. In fact, That's nutrient pulp right there. That's thermal water though. Okay, see, this is what you gotta be careful of. Sometimes thermal water is the exact same color as nutrient pulp. You don't wanna get that wrong, because otherwise you're gonna get very hot fish. Actually, how warm is thermal water? 25 degrees. I don't think thermal water is hot. I mean, unless you think 25 degrees is warm, in which case, I, I don't know what, I don't know why you'd do that, why you'd think that. Okay, and yeah, great. So that's pretty good. Just put our fish out there. I'll probably finish those pipe, those things. Okay, and we're gonna do a red circuit. Why red? Because it's always gotta be red. And we're gonna do from here to it's let's fly this up in a way that would look weird but it's being done for a particular reason okay and we want one more red wire we want to put here so that reads but it doesn't enable disable and it holds this enables if fish, if fush is less than three. Plan here is rather simple. Then we're going to do that and pick up like that. Then we should have a lot of polluted fish water to make our beacons with. Probably need to wire them up with power too, what do you reckon? And this, we're going to put it into here, prioritizing this input. There we go. We now have a lot of fish. With all this fish water, what are we going to do with it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because, Johnny, we're going to do science. 
We're not actually going to do science. If you thought we were going to do science, I'm sorry. I'm going to disappoint you right now. Okay, well, that's right in the way. And then we want to bring this up. And this should be enough uh, to work my crystallization efforts for quite some time, hopefully. Move that one more up. That'd be great. Uh, and that is facing the wrong direction, but that's okay. Easily fixed. Probably didn't even need to do the underground belt there. Get those out. Insert those out. I mean, it's the correct what I'm doing, but it's also a confusing sentence. Okay, and those this thing should work pretty quickly, actually. Uh, how are we doing with uh, blue fish water? We. I don't think we've got any engines, do we? No, we don't. Okay. I was going to say, can we use a pump? But anyway, we don't. So they should now be producing more things than just green. What I can't help but notice is green is the one that tends to be. Why is that being prioritized? It's the longest one. Why is that being prioritized? It's literally the one I don't want it to be doing. Interesting. That's weird. I'm genuinely confused why only the green one's working. Like, the green one is not the one I need working. It's it's the blue ones or the red ones. But no, it's all coming through that way. If I do this, will they start connecting? It starts going, prioritizing red. And then blue gets nothing. The heck? Fascinating. For the life of me, I cannot understand why red's getting it now and blue's not getting it. Blue's literally getting nothing. I guess if I cut that off, blue starts getting it. Yep, it does. Uh, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to change this ever so slightly. Because I want bl I want my priorities to be correct. Thank you. So if I do it this way. like that and theoretically it should be focusing on blue first then going to red then going to green or we could just connect it to crystal slurry one day and just have it sort itself out properly 
that might be the next best idea. Another time, perhaps. Right now, what I really want to do is actually start taking some of these chips and really screwing with my factory in an interesting way. 65 efficiency modules. <laughs> the ones that I deem the least useful, that's the ones I got the most of. The lack of rubber is probably not helping either, honestly. Hmm. Anyway, uh... Blues are coming through pretty quick. How is uh, my polluted fish water going? It could be faster. Okay, hang on. Here's a thought. I didn't actually do this. So all up, this is producing 1.5 thousand fish water. And this is using... Okay, so we're still not quite producing enough fish water. But then again, because this is all for... Uh, the use of making things fast. I see no problems using my modules. Okay, it's going to speed modules, that's all right. Those will require a lot more power. But look, this is going to just pay for itself, so I've got no problems doing this. So now that's doing 2.1. Okay, and that's requiring 2.25. Okay, so it's a little bit better. And we may be requiring more fish too. Although probably not actually. It does seem like it's backing up a little bit. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, so that's going to give me my modules a bit faster, hopefully. Still only seeing red go through. You know what? Uh, I think we all had a lot of fun, but I think we do need to actually connect the crystal. Uh, Ooh, we might not be making enough fish water here either. Okay. Uh, chemical plant twos. Let's speed it up a little bit. Plant three. I mean, that that's faster, but it's not quite what I needed. How much fish water is this using? 2.1... How much is this making? 1.4, yikes, that is not enough fish water. Okay, that's probably slowing things down. Look, you know what, let's make a three. It's so close to what we've already got anyway, might as well. Uh, we are not making enough salinated water. So our washing plant is also going to be required. Could just use a desalination plant. Or salination plant, rather. I mean, that would also do the trick. Uh, chemical plants. Where the heck are they? There it is. I mean, it's all very well and good, but if you don't have the salinated water, or the saline water, rather, uh, it doesn't actually help at all. But I think we had a salination plant over here. Quite frankly, it's not doing anything except collecting salt, so... Might as well just put it over here and just make it happen. I mean, it's literally what this plant's are for. So why would you, like, not give... There we go, it's got a new lease on life. And it will do once it starts running.
it's still struggling. No, it's not. It just looks like it's struggling. Okay, we've got the power armor, which is great, except for the fact we don't have processing units. Um, but hey, that's that's a thing for another time. So the capacity bonus, that's always good. How are we going with science these days, actually? Not great. Why not? Copper. Should have heaps of copper. Interesting. I think we might need some more casting plants then. These are coming through pretty good. Like this doesn't seem to have stopped. Oh wow, that wood, huh? I wouldn't have seen that coming. You can tell me not to be proud of myself on that one. I'm not gonna. Okay, so what we actually probably need to do then is to improve the arboretums. That's actually pretty easy to do, so let's do that. What we do need to do is grab these gardens that we've made. <laughs> Would be pleased with that. <laughs> uh, comic genius right there. Uh, so we've got these gardens here that are not doing anything. I think we should have four of them now. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of agricultural research we've got ready. It's really speeding up. You know what? It is really speeding up. Let's make it a slight little bit faster. By a slight bit faster, I mean, what, 40%? 40% faster, that's... You know, instead of five minutes, it's 40% less, so that would be what? Well, 20% would be four minutes, so three minutes. So yeah, that's pretty good. Can't complain about that. Uh, I've also got all these efficiency modules that I would like to use for efficiencies purposes, of course. Uh, okay. My gardens go over here. Okay, 147 of those. So if we can make more trees, that'll give me my more wooden plate, uh, wooden panels, and that'll be pretty good. Looks at that, realizes I need to fix that one day, continues to not. That's the important thing. It's always important that when you see something and you know you should fix it, it's important that you don't. Because fixing things is the work of the devil. Okay, so my Arboretum 2 should be done pretty quickly. Right now, that's oddly enough one of the things that's slowing us, and also what's slowing us down is copper, which I'm pretty sure we have some casting machines, so let's do that now. Oh, there's a train. Ah, <laughs> trained! <laughs> Choo choo, motherfucker. Excuse my language, but. Okay, well, you know the rules, and if you don't, I gotta put a marker down where my body was to remind myself of the time I got hit by a train. I got really scared there. I thought I was about to be hit by another train. Um, Oil, fertilizer, nutrient pulp. I mean, that's doable. Do want to start getting these done though. Now, where did I die? I died. Yeah, okay. I see you, train. I don't think I don't. Yeah, I know. I know. A lot of. Oh, uh, because it put all the stuff that was in my trash into the... Okay. Actually, that's useful. One of those is not useful. Nope, still got to throw more stuff away. Okay, that's the bullet. 
Oh, that's the gun, rather. That's got a very important place in the factory's life. Okay. Now I build a chest. I like to build an iron chest. I'll put it there. Pistol goes in there. Good. Now that we've done that, get hit by, gets hit by another train. Now, I was getting the copper to be a little bit more refined. By that, I wanted more refined copper. So what I could do is just... Yeah, I could just copy those. Apparently, I'm just carrying copper plates, huh? Weird. All right. More copper is happening. That should speed up that element of things. Uh, oh, one thing we should do is build efficiency modules on the blue science. I'm sure it'll take a little bit longer, but it'll make more. I'd rather have more. Bonus to six production, so for every what? 13, 14 I make, I should get an extra free one. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll take a free one. Uh, now, other items is the next thing. And then I probably need to actually connect that crystal slurry up because. These are just not being made enough of. Uh, no, plastics is probably the next big thing, actually. Yeah, my other items are there. Now, the funny thing is I've always had uh, the fertilizer for this, but I've never actually used it. So... That should work. That should make me more trees. And then I think we can turn these into tree seed twos as well. Make them more efficient. My soil production. One would say I have soiled myself, but that would be immature. I regret nothing. Okay, why are we not making a lot of... Oh, because we're making a lot more fish, aren't we? And the massive amount of production of fish has really slowed things down. Okay, so soil is slow because we are now using a lot more of the brown algae than we used to use. Okay, so the next thing we do somehow I think we go around the outside, honestly. I think that's the best way to do it. So we're going to go somewhat like this. I think this will work. Except for when it hits that part, and then it all sort of collapses. That's all right. Um. Hmm. Speed that up, I guess. I like how I say, "Oh, I'm speeding it up." I'm not speeding it up. I'm being lazy. It's all about being lazy as heck. This is why I don't actually work as an engineer, because it'd be like, "Why did this building fall down, Seif?" And it's like, well. I could have done the calculations. Uh-huh. And? And, well, do you know how much work calculations take? Yeah, it's kind of your job. Yeah, but I thought, what if it was someone else's job? And they're like, but it's your job. I'm like, what if it wasn't, though? And then they'll say, well, it isn't anymore. 
people are dead because of you. I'm like, what if they aren't? And then I'll get escorted out of the building. You know, which overall, that's a desirable achievement for me because I don't want to work there anyway. Anyone who doesn't want to work with my genius is clearly at fault. I mean, it's their fault the building fell down. I mean, did they? do you see who they hired? Yeah, I, I know it was me. That's kind of the problem, isn't it? I see what the problem was. They don't like murder. It wasn't murder. It was, uh... What's the opposite of murder? Well... Resuscitation, I suppose. But no, that's not the word I was looking for. Um... I hope you knows what the opposite of murder is. Murder may not even be real. I've never seen it. Have you seen it? No. Unless you haven't, in which case I am so, so, so sorry. Okay, that crystal slurry should be racing down there now. And we should be making more stuff than we've ever made before. Now what I do want to do though, is I do want to prioritize the crushing of the crystal powder. Because the crystal powder does need to be prioritized. And actually, you know, while we're here, we've got the electrolytes units. At the moment, power-wise, my... Electrolyzers use about 9.2 megawatts. Let's see what we can change, huh? Uh, that was the top ones, not the bottom ones. I got confused. Okay, so I've used a lot of efficiency modules. So they were using 9.2 megawatts, they're now using how much? Less, I would hope. <laughs> More. Uh, they're now using 7 megawatts. I mean, see the power reduction. That's good. It's not super important to have those. Oh, by the way, Dark Rail, uh, if you ever get around to watching this, the Steam generation thing doesn't work anymore. And you'll probably come on along and tell me at some point if you're not watching, which is fine. Uh, and I'll tell you it doesn't work anymore. So you can't put efficiency modules in Steam and electric boilers, which is a shame. Because I thought that was funny. But apparently this game does obey the laws of thermodynamics. Disappointing, I know. Uh, okay, so copper's good. Why is this slowed down? Why is that slowed down? Plastic. Okay, plastic has now become the issue. Uh, while we have made tree cutting very quick and efficient, we should probably make the soaring of the trees also quick and efficient. So we're going to need some steel. Thankfully there is a steel train. And I've got a mine just like a steel train. Right now we're just not cutting enough of these trees. <sighs> just waiting for a train. Doesn't even park where I'm standing. Very rude. And apparently I need green circuits as well. That's okay. They are pretty easy to gather. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the amount of green circuits we're making. It's clear improvement from before. Uh, we need iron now. Gosh, it is just always... 
Just deliberately doing what it can to defy me, isn't it? I'm making it all about me today, I've decided. Iron's over there. Okay. That's doing fine, but probably what the problem here is it all just needs to be sped up a little bit. Speed all of this up, please. Like we've got these tree seeds, we can put them around. And just speed these up. You know what a speed tree? Uh, it's really cool technology. I do like speed tree actually, just as a concept. Uh, if you're not aware, speed tree is a technology they use for games like Skyrim and any like open world games that have a lot of trees or just buildings, where they sort of load the building. They have like multiple textures for the buildings as you like far away it's a very simple texture and when you're closer it's a like more detailed one so you don't shouldn't notice the pop in as the textures change and it makes the world look uh, a lot more a lot bigger than it actually is like because otherwise the draw distance for trying to draw like those really complicated trees from miles away would just be too difficult so they just go man just make it simpler and it's it's pretty neat Uh, look, I think we did pretty well, except we could do better by cutting more trees. Just get that out of the way. I think that's the problem I've got right now. And we're going to need some of these uh, filter inserters. I need some of this power. Do we have anything else? Wait, what? Are they not? Are oh, they just regular filter inserters? Gross. Well, do we need four of them? Okay. Oh yeah, it probably needs to actually be able to take the trees away too. Uh, I think that's probably slowing down because the amount of... Yeah, okay. Um... We want to change the regular filter inserters to fast filter inserters, please. We are probably going to need to build more of those then. That should be almost everything we need. No, we need one more. Great. Uh, and let's just offset a couple of these. And now the problem is copper. It's actually pretty funny because that machine does work pretty damn quickly. And make it work a tad quicker. Or does it work in too quick? Uh, we need stack inserters then. I mean, that's working pretty quick actually. That has dealt with that problem, I imagine. 
Yes, now the problem is they just don't uh, cycle them fast enough. Gosh, it's always a problem down here, isn't it? Just upgrade everything, please. Just, just do it. I'm sick of this. Turn those copper pipes into something useful. A bunch of junk. Okay, we do actually need to get plastic sorted after this, I think. Finally, we come to this. Where we're not making enough... Uh, Carbon. There's always something wrong, isn't there? <laughs> okay, so after this, we've got to figure out how to do uh, plastics, because that's, I think, the reason why we're not doing more science right now. It's just because we ran out of plastic. Uh, my bots are going to follow me at some point. They'll get around to it. So, what we need, probably more liquefiers, honestly. How's that? That solder should be maxed out. Yeah, it's pretty maxed out. Turns out it didn't actually take too much to max it out, like three or four hundred runs, and it was like, yep, maxed out. Done. So, what we need is plastic, liquid plastic. And we want to make propane gas out of methanol. Now, methanol can be made using synthesis gas and carbon dioxide. But it can also be used making regular... So that's 100 synth uh, 90 hydrogen gas and a bunch of playing around with stuff. Or well, the other option is 100 hydrogen gas and a green metal, uh, metal catalyst. And the green metal catalyst is actually really easy to make because I've got those. I've got a thing that makes those. Hydrogen gas, and I love the way it's hydrogen gas, is a bit more of a problem. I deal with residual gas. I think I can turn that into synthesis. I can. And synthesis gas is actually pretty neat. Either way, I'm going to need to use green metal catalysts. So, what I'm thinking is we're going to make another circle, probably. Hmm. Another circle here. If you know my way of construction, I love building the circles. I've lost my bots. They'll find their way here at home someday. There they are. They'll figure it out. And that goes down, so it'll go around that way. So it'll come out this way. Okay. Then we need to figure out how the heck to work the hydrogen. Okay, well, let's get rid of this worm first. Let's, we've got a few worm problems. Let's deal with them now. There's quite a few worms over there. That's actually where I want to build, so that's kind of rude that they exist. Oh, now they come to greet me. Hello, worms. Prepare to be some sort of food. A worm food. You are worms. You're not your own food. Plasma food? Okay. That'll deal with those worms. Uh, we probably need to change the research. Something can actually be done because that's not happening right now. Uh, research that can be done. 
I mean, we could just keep working on stack and sort of capacity bonus. What are we doing with blue research? Oh, it does actually look like it's backed up. Ooh, that means it's finally caught up with everything. I mean, mostly. I mean, those are a little bit light, but... Doesn't look like it's the point that's... Okay, it's a... The Femto arrays are a little bit of a problem, but it doesn't need too many of these, I think, to make one. And they're coming. Uh, what are they delayed by? It's carbon, I think, that's slowing these ones down. Yeah, it's just not near enough carbon coming through. And the funny thing is, I can make carbon relatively easily. I just... Hell, I could even bring carbon in from here, actually. That's not a problem. So there's no real reason I'm building the train tracks out this way. I just wanted to always make sure that we have established a way to build outwards. And in fact, we've kind of made a block. We have made a block. In fact, that's a perfect place for a block. We could make a plastic block here. So we are going to need a lot more landfill. Uh, but thankfully, I believe there's a lot of landfill around. Meanwhile, the bots will follow me to the ends of the earth. There they are there. I got scared. I saw the train. I didn't know what was happening. I thought, not today. <laughs> uh, you almost got me again, train. Uh, 1.9k. It's good. But I do need probably another 10k. Um, so if we go into the rat's nest, I think there's a large chunk of sand somewhere. Should be a large chunk of sand over here, I believe. Yep, that's right, 254 sand. That's the large amount of sand I was expecting. 5.6k, that's better. I think we can do... Oh, actually, how are we doing for fuel oil? Maxed out, good. I think that we can do one better by here. 8.3, perfect. Let's even take a bit more, shall we? Now we need a train. Oh, there was supposed to be a train over here, but I guess not. Oh, there's a train coming. If I can just slow it down for a second. Maybe just bring it around. I think that's the blue science train. Uh, I want you to be here. How much blue science is on this train right now? 84, that's good. Uh, you know, while I am doing that, let's just... Let's just make blue science a little bit faster. Let's just bloody kill blue science, right? I want to make it hurt. Is that sadistic? Probably. Do I care? Not at all. Uh, I do want to keep the production modules on it, because it does make things a bit nicer. I can only fit one more set of production modules, so what I'll do, I guess. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? We don't need more production modules. We just need more science. Because right now, resources are not scarce. Ah, crap. 
I don't have my robots, I forgot. want to focus on the ones at the front just because that way they're always running and <laughs> that is going the wrong way oopsies okay so that's gonna make more blue science than i've ever had before which is one of my favorite lines now as we do this we may very well come across my robots and if we do we want to welcome them with open arms say that we love them and we respect them and that they're lazy Where is this train going? You can go wherever you're going. Blue science drop, I suppose. Gosh, this is a really bizarre way to get back there. Probably my fault too. Uh, so we have a lot of steel plates. Why can we not build a train stop? What else does it need? Iron. Well, I think we've got iron near here. And after this, we should have more plastic than we really need for the time being. Stop. One of those. I need chemical plants as well. that's concerned about the shortage of the number of those I can make because those are going to be needed for my green catalysts how's this going these days I'm pretty good actually 4.3 is about what it was before mm -hmm. uh, okay Clearly we need a box. Crap. Uh, oh god. It's not... <laughs> nothing's happy. Can we just do that for a moment? Thanks. Okay, box crap time. Uh, actually, let's do a brass... Let's do a brass box and just put everything in it. That's right, a brass box is not enough to contain my entire inventory. Okay, then we put everything else in this box. Make a prop box of crap. And then, can we just chuck some more? No, 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 we need the plasma turret. That's important for science. Science? Just murder, actually. Murder? Murder. Oh man, if you haven't played Hades, it is such a good game and I highly recommend it. Like, a friend of mine really wanted to play it, but he's like, I don't know about it, it's a roguelike. And I'm like, it's just, it's a really good game though. Like, there's kind of no game, oh, okay, I was going to say there's no game as good as it, but that's not true. But, as action roguelikes go, it's just so smooth. It, the weirdest thing is there's not really a thing that I think it does like amazingly well i just think that everything about it is so competent that it is that's why it won awards like it's not amazing but also the fact that it's so competent in everything that it does and i don't quite know what to make of that okay so we're gonna need some electrolyzers as well uh, electrolyzers. Can't build many of them right now, so we're just going to build two. So, what do we need? We need carbon dioxide. We've got plenty of carbon dioxide. And we need a lot of hydrogen gas. That's going to be the killer, honestly.
Like that lack of hydrogen gas is going to be a problem. Um, why? Oh, because it's not actually connected to the, the network. Okay, welcome back, bots. I've missed you. Go back to work. Lazy. We're out of uh, we're out of train tracks. It happened again. <laughs> okay, we also need some basic boards, so we might as well grab those while we're here. Uh, and some engines, actually. Couldn't go wrong with some engines. Probably don't need too many train tracks. But that was probably too many train tracks, honestly. All right. Uh, lots of aluminium still on the line, lots of solder still on the line. And the most important thing on the line, lots of line on the line. Yeah, that's not happy, because it's not, because it's on the wrong side. And since that's going out, that goes like that. And then it needs to have a way to get back in again. Because it's a lot like a cat that wants to go out and it also wants to go back in. So that's easy enough to do because you just do like that. It goes pa. <laughs> oh, that's not actually connected. There we go. And we need to do that just so it connects properly. We need to fix that up in a moment. Okay, and we need to do the signaling properly. Okay. I think that signaling is close to being right. Not quite, actually. We need a little bit more work on the signaling, but the important part is it will do the job for what I need. And we're going to copy the other... Thing I had for this because I don't want to have to do the wiring of that again, uh, which was here. We take it like that, and we just go yoink, like that. I think it doesn't have the combiners. Of course, it wouldn't. Why would it have the combiners? Needs three of them and some steel chests. And some fast stack inserters. Fast filter stack inserters. Great, so that train is going to leave again because it didn't actually do anything. That's all right. The important thing is it could leave. Okay, so now that should properly get aluminium and such. What are we lacking? Basic circuit boards, I never pick those up. <laughs> There's that aluminium and silver train again. Choo choo! <laughs> uh, well, let's build a couple of catalyst frames. Uh, and we do need to pick stuff up. Don't need those, don't need those, don't need those. Lazy robots? Guess I need those. Even though they're lazy. Uh, chemical plants. Gonna need a couple of these. I wouldn't have gone bad by picking up the exact things I needed, but whatever, we're here now. We've got plenty of plastic here, but...
Okay, so it's going to turn carbon dioxide, green metal catalyst, and hydrogen gas to stuff. That is the technical term, obviously. I don't think I needed to tell you that. And this will just fill out this box entirely as well, which is good. So we're going to go, where are my chemical plants? I always lose these things. There they are. One, two, three. Green catalyst. They're not done chemical plants. Green. Okay. Good. So that'll make the catalysts when they darn well feel like it. We might build another catalyst actually. Another couple. So we've got 40 catalysts ready to go at any one time. Then we need to get the carbon dioxide, which I think we can do that fairly easily. We can grab it straight from this line. Just gonna wait for one to be built and then I can copy and paste the rest. Having a good time, having a, there it is. Okay, so that's gonna turn into carbon dioxide. Great. Okay. So oh, that's actually pretty good to have that. Balanced oil processing, don't really need that. Electric boiler. I wonder if that's the one that's got the modules in it. Maybe it needs to be upgraded for the modules. I'm not sure. Uh, advanced materials, you know what, that's probably pretty good to get an electric furnace. That's going in the right way of what we need as well, so that's good. Because I really do want to get uh, logistics drones properly up and running. Because then everything becomes easier in a weird kind of perverse way. Because one thing I like is things being easier and perverse. Don't judge me. Alright, so... So, what we need, now we need our chemical plants, which we have in abundance, in a very easy to find place. There they are. And we just want to make menthol. I could turn menthol into formaldehyde as well. What is that good for? Liquid resin. Oh. Really? And melamine gas, which I think comes from... We're going to need that later. Okay. Also, I forgot we need to leave a space for everything. Because otherwise, ain't nothing ever going to work here. Probably put that one on the side as well. And we might actually build, do we dare build a second layer of these? I think we might have to. No, I think that's fine for now. We are going to need a lot of hydrogen for this to work though. And we are out of brass pipes, but it's okay. I know where we can get a lot of them. And do, do. Okay, we don't need more regular brass pipes, we just need the undergroundy boys, which are just down here. Really convenient. I mean, undergroundy boys, 
Let's just take all of them because we are working with gases. Uh, we do also want boilers. What are you guys following me for? How much carbon dioxide are we actually going to be needing? So we're going to be producing... Oh, that's not near enough. Oh wait, one of these produces, requires 6.7? So 13.5. Hmm. Interesting. So we're going to need more, clearly. This is probably going to kill my charcoal. Uh, car, uh, charcoal, yeah. Well, if it does, we can always just build a second layer. It's not hard to build more of these. One thing I'd like to do is actually just confirm that we are using the right stuff at the moment. Best way to do that is just do this. And if they start filling up, which they have, we're good. And we put them out like that. Which looks kind of bad, but it's not as bad as it looks. Okay, we still need to figure out how to get hydrogen. Can't just suck hydrogen out of the air, that's not how life works. Ah, uh, but if it did. Well, we do need steam anyway to turn the menethol into propane so if we get so boilers may be the best answer actually here and the heat of the boiler does not matter why am i just carrying around plastic i could use that plastic for other things I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about how much uh, carbon or charcoal is going to be needed here. But now this will hopefully do the trick. Oh, uh, these are not putting out enough. That's a line I just said. These are not putting out enough. Yikes. And then I want them to... Good news is these ones are actually pretty simple because these ones can just go a long straight belt. And I would like to sort of belt them back into itself. I might do it this way. Oh, wait, no, it's not quite right. That'll work better. Yeah. Then they need to pick up the used up catalysts. Okay, good. So that'll be that. We do need to figure out how to get hydrogen still. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got hydrogen somewhere. Got some hydrogen here that's just being burnt away. I guess it's actually being used a little bit. A little bit of it's being used. I mean, we can we steal some hydrogen. Fine. Uh, alternative plans is some hydro plants. And then to, oh gosh, that needs a lot of iron. Um, hydro plants and then...
Then what? Then you've got the pure water, and then you would need to electrize the water. Mm. I mean, it does the trick, I suppose. Uh, we are out of iron. Okay, good. Always love it when that happens. Yeah, I don't need to use cobalt that often. Uh, there is a lot of iron over here. Although that iron is actually going down a lot because I keep stealing from it. And I never actually did anything to replenish it. Like something used a lot of steel lately too. In fact, there is no iron there anymore. So, a couple of offshore pumps, always good. A few hydro plants. Might as well build the nice ones. Uh, I'm going to need a clarifier because it's going to make saline water and that's gross. Uh, and then we've got boilers. That's needed for the steam. That's not a problem. And then electrolyzers. Okay. Might as well build the big ones. Go on here. Why is this not producing quite the speed I'd like it to? I think it is actually. It's just. I wonder. It must have had a full train load of steel go somewhere recently. What is that? Steel on the ground, huh? I wonder how that happened. Whatever, we'll take it. <clears throat> However it happened. Uh, so we've got one hydro plant so far. Now we're not needing the saline water, so we can clarify that without a doubt and without a concern. Uh, except the clarify hasn't actually been built yet. So that, that's going to come along when it feels like it. I mean, I can't be angry at it. I'm, that's me. Like, what am I doing wrong? I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, ooh. Maybe one more out. That way we can put the saline water in a hole. There is no way this is going to produce enough. How much does this produce? Uh, 1,000 a minute. This requires... thirty three thousand per minute. Okay. Okay. That's a lot. How much water does this need? 2,000 per minute? Each one of those? Okay, so... We're going to need a lot of electrolyzers then is what I'm hearing. And they all need to be separated. And the oxygen, we need to just... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing oxygen right now uh we're out of basic sick boards again cool whatever i don't care right now okay so Just shift those all one across. That might be way easier. If you just go like that. Just a bit nicer. Because then we can go like that. And then the oxygen. Look, there'll be a time that I need the oxygen. I know that for a fact. I just don't know what that time will look like. Uh, 
Um, I will try to steal more hydrogen from around the base. Hey, Dark Rail, you. <laughs> I am so sorry you are. Uh, although I did want to comment something to you. I, I said this earlier in the stream. Uh, you can no longer put efficiency modules in the steam, the electric boilers. So that's sad. I think it was you telling me that. I hope it was. Otherwise, it was Gims, and then I feel very silly. I know someone was telling me that. Yeah, I know, right? It's pretty sad. Oh, okay. All right. I think it was him. Okay, well, look, you are being attributed to something that made me laugh, so just accept that. Uh, what else have we got? Um, we need a flare stack. That's what we're actually here for. Yeah, well, look, I'm, I'm glad you're happy about that. The best I can offer you in this trying times. Okay, orcs are a gas. Yes, I'm with you already. You've, you started with the best sentence. No one's the truth. Um. Yeah, absolutely. The reason why biters are angry is because they're inflicted with the wah. I mean, there is nothing else that makes sense. Put some water into that too. Okay, so that's making my gas now. It's not producing near enough hydrogen. I know that for to be a fact because it's producing enough for one. That's okay. Important thing is my carbon dioxide is not absolutely shitting itself. Uh, okay, the next thing I need is manithol gas. Okay. So we're going to leave a lot of extra room because I know I'm going to want to expand that later. I'm going to build some boilers. I was thinking more about the, you know, the orcs saying, like, I'm a uh, tank, 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 and just pretending to be a tank to the point that, it, like, they couldn't be killed. I was thinking, if orcs believe they can't be killed enough, does that mean they can't be killed? Like, are orcs invulnerable if they just believe hard enough? Um, my friends were saying no, because you can still disembowel them, but and that kind of stops the power of belief. But I don't know. Legit. Um, I, hello. Oh, it's Tuna. I'll be done in about 15 minutes. Yay. My wife has brought me Tuna for tomorrow's lunch. I'm not allowed to eat it now. But she would never know. But I would know and then I would have no lunch. And that would be disappointing for me. And my friends would be like, hey, I thought it's Tuesday. Tuesday is tu is tuna day. I, I know, but I ate it already. I mean, yeah, I just, I mean, there's the, also the orc theory that the bigger someone is, the stronger they are. And that's why they got confused by Com Commissar Yarrick. Because it's like, he's not huge. I mean, he had an orc power claw, so I guess that kind of was big. But it's just not the same, you know? An old power claw does not make a single a man big. All right, enjoy your meeting. Oh, hey, that six foot eight guy. Appreciated having you join along. 
Uh, so then we're just going to get that over there and that'll give me my steam. I guess I need steam crackers or something like that. That shouldn't be a problem though. Okay. Now we've got the steam. Now we need to turn the menthol gas into propane using steam crackers. Let me guess, I have none of the stuff. Oh, I do actually have that. Wow. Legitimately surprised. Probably don't have enough steam. Uh, it's going to produce a lot of steam, actually. Actually, so I'm going to produce. Wow, those produce so much water. Okay. I've made the classic mistake of coming here with not enough iron pipes. One day that won't be a problem. But not today. Today is still a problem. And um, we need to leave a gap between each one or we will have problems separating things. That's going to then make my propane gas. Yeah, propane gas. So let's power this up. At least get started. How much steam do these things want? Not that much. I may have oversteamed. Uh, oh, one thing I have definitely done though is put these things too close because they also need to have the the gas. So I'm a little bit out because they also need to. Not only do they need to have things coming in separated, they need to have things well coming out separated. They need to have things coming in being separated. That's an easy enough fix, it's just a pain. Okay, so. Steam, uh, that's easy. That's just like that. And honestly, now that I've done it that way, all we need to do is grab the menthol gas. Do some undergroundy things. Go like that. Not exactly tidy, but it does the job. And they are all filled. And then that just thing bursts into life. Which is exactly what you want with these sorts of things. Then we've got residual... Uh, residual gas, which quite frankly I don't have a plan for right now. Uh, so what I can do is probably just build a couple of these for now. Probably doesn't need to be all corners, actually. Build a couple of those for now, just keep it on the, on the safe side. Then propane gas into liquid plastic, which is just... That's just chemical plants. I'm going to upgrade those later. <laughs> Okay, that actually didn't need to be like that. Okay, and that'll fire them all up just for a brief moment as they put their stuff in there. Yep, they all fire up. I don't think that needs anything special. I think it just turns stuff straight into propane gas. Yeah, it does. Cool. So we can just do that essentially. And then it will make plastic. No, then it will make liquid plastic. Just not the same as making plastic, obviously. Because then you need assemblers, which again, I have not got enough of things. But 
if we do sort of a similar idea. Wait, when did Alt go away? I must have hit Alt at some point by mistake. So that'll do. Then they make plastic. That is fantastic. We finally have plastic back on the line. And then we'll get a train to come up and pick it up and probably just drop it off that way. So we've left a lot of space for everything we need right now. Probably too much space, one could argue. Why do we not have more methanol gas? What's happened? Hydrogen? Oh, we never actually built that flare stack. We just... Oops. Uh, more catalyst probably. Another catalyst frame or two would probably be good. It looks like it all sort of got jammed up all over the place. Okay. Okay. Now we don't have enough electrolyzers to properly get this going. So more electrolyzers would be good. Uh, but the important thing is we do actually have plastic being made now. So we will... Let me just do one more of them, actually. Just because I kind of want to have something that looks somewhat even. And then I can do this. There we go. Now I've seen it like this. I kind of want to move that circle out a little bit more. Those circles are nice. And this will become the plastic uh, block. Got a few angry worms out there, but that's alright. They can be angry. I'm not going to stop them. I wouldn't dare try, honestly. I'm just going to cut and paste this circle to be over here. Yeah. Okay. Circles are, of course, bad uh, design, but I love circles and I'm not going to stop it. Up. Uh, it appears it actually also got rid of my connector there, but that's all right. Easily fixed. Uh, we just keep building this way because that'll get us to my purple uh, research very soon. And the sooner we get to purple research, the, we're one step closer to getting my logistics. That would be nice. I mean, that's probably a f couple of hours to go, but because we do have blue signs coming in relatively quickly now, it shouldn't be too bad. Because in blue science, now we just have a problem. What is going on here? Red chips? Red chips? Ah, oh, it's plastic. Okay, well, plastic's the problem there. Hey Kiwi Hawk, how you doing? I don't have a proper logistic system. Uh, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're still in blue science. The blue science is almost stable. Uh, I'm also doing the thing you were talking about on Reddit. Ah, oh, I was just like, I at least trying to. I don't make near enough hydrogen for this yet, but 
Oh, we need a new, new radar system as well. Oh, I actually do have the, the stuff for it. Uh, unfortunately, I'm about to just quit in the next five minutes, but I appreciate you coming by and checking stuff out. Um, but yeah, we, we've got plastics being made again. Uh, blue science, once I get the plastics back online, should be good. Uh, that is going to be a real tight fit. That's not going to be near enough sand either. 249 sand. No, this is relatively new. Yeah, I wish I could show you what I had originally. I had like a huge array of blue algae farms going all the way to propane gas. And it was turning the... Everything, all the byproducts was being turned into synth gas and then synth gas was turned into stuff. So the naphtha, the fuel oil, the mineral oil, all into synth gas. And that was how I was doing it. Uh, it was absolutely massive. Uh, I don't know how much more massive it's going to be than what I've made currently. Uh, I'm getting it not from the carbon monoxide, I'm getting it from the carbon dioxide. So I'm uh, liquefying the charcoal directly. I'm not doing the synth gas. I had a look at it and while it takes a little bit more hydrogen, unless I've missed something really significant, it looked easier to just get it straight from the charcoal rather than carbon monoxide and refine it two or three times. Uh, unless I've missed something, in which case, please let me know. Because... <laughs> I thought I was doing a good job with this. It almost seems like with plastics that the one that only gives 10 plastic is actually kind of better because it doesn't require so many steps. I know it's probably not better, but it's just easier. And sometimes easier is just good enough for me. Oh, here we hawk, I expect better. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Well, the I'm kidding, of course, just turns into I didn't expect better. Which is not quite what I meant. Now, this is probably going to kill the power lines. That's alright. Look, you gave me another idea to another better way to do it, so I'm still pretty thankful to you for that one. Hey, Dark, Dark Rail, welcome back. Hope your meeting was productive. This is a travesty what I'm having to do here. Okay, let's just try not to s move. Okay. Hello. I'm finishing up in a minute. Or rather now, actually. Um, ah, wonderful. Those are the worst meetings. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry. I do have to head off now. I will... <laughs> just looking at chat. Yeah. Uh, Panda just came into the room. Uh, anyway, I've got to head off now, guys. Thank you for coming by. Uh, as usual, if you would like to catch up with uh, the historical streams you can find them on youtube.com slash cat if you're watching this on youtube you can find them live at uh twitch.tv slash cat my wife is laughing at me um <laughs> that's normal i expect that <laughs> uh what else have i missed yes so the next time i plan to be streaming will be on thursday my time so if you are like american or anywhere that's not New Zealand or Australia that'll probably honestly be uh, what's the time? Wednesday but thank you for watching I really appreciate having you all here and I hope to see you here next time if you have enjoyed this uh, please give a follow so that way you'll know when I'm streaming next uh, oh gosh meanwhile this worm's just going to destroy my train track that's rude probably have to deal with that next time anyway Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye!